This is Eo Triceratops, a ceratopsid that was 18 feet long and weighed over 10 tons. Its skull alone was over 6 feet long and it is considered to be one of the oldest relatives of Triceratops and Taurosaurus. Hello everybody, were you expecting the Triceratops mod? Because I'll tell you, I definitely wasn't. But I'm glad to see it here as we have an official Eo Triceratops and a mod with different abilities or a different look on the creature is more than welcome. So let's go through these subspecies right quick. First up, we have our plus 15% abnormal conditions heal subspecies. This version of Eo Triceratops has much curvier long horns up here. You can see at the top, but it looks really good. The body looks a little bit smaller, but we'll see next to the actual official model. Um, I love the frill here. The default skin is fantastic. I think it's very fitting. Our next one is still 15% abnormal conditions heal, but you can tell that the pattern of the skin on the face and the frill is vastly different than our previous model. That seems to be the only difference that I can tell right now but it still looks really, really good. The horns still have the same shape. Our next one is plus 3% attack damage. The horns are definitely different here and we still went back to the original skin pattern that we had on our default EO Triceratops for the frill in the face. Basically, the only difference here is that the horns are much longer and they curve upwards a bit more. Our next one is still plus 3% attack damage. It just has the same different skin texture on the face and the frill, which maybe that's going to be a pattern for the rest of our subspecies here. After that, we have our plus 5% armor. The frill is definitely bigger here. We went back to our original horns, but they're still kind of darker and we still have our original skin pattern here. And yes, like the others, we do have just the skin pattern difference for the frill and the face. And then we're back to our default EO Triceratops. Let's check out the female skin right quick. Here we go. Okay, so we basically have a light pink, basically not as bright color, but everything else seems to still be the same, just no bright orange. And let's go through the calls right quick. First, we have our broadcast. I love the broadcast. It is a really deep rumbly sound. I can feel it in my chest just listening to it. And it's very, very good. Two call. I like that one too. It's good. But it is very similar to our original dinosaur for the game for Path of Titans. Threaten. The sound is fantastic. I really love that. That is a really good threatened sound. The beginning of it where he's, you know, does the little dance and then shows off his horns is pretty much the same as our original mod. War call. Ooh, I kind of like it, kind of don't. I think more the emote than the sound. Tuck. A nice little rumble, very good. Shake. A very good shake, very fluid, and it looks nice. Look around. I love the way the horns look for the look around. It's just actually very intimidating. And then mystery. Oh, it's basically like another look around emote. All right, here's our baby model. It looks fantastic. Super, super cute. He's got the tiny, tiny little horns. I thought he would probably have nubs. It does kind of look like a shrunk down adult though. The eyes are a bit bigger, but that just might be because the model is, you know, smaller in general. But let's go through the calls right quick. First up, we have broadcast. That one's a lot more warbly, you know? Has a bit of weakness to it. <laughs> Duke call? That's cute. Threaten? The threaten, the first part of it kind of sounded like a big cat to me. If that, do you guys get that at all with the call? I don't know. War call? Yes, the four call I think sounds a lot better on the baby. Sounds a lot more worried you know talk <laughs> kind of reminds me of cow it's very nice shake excellent excellent good shake look around 
Got that foot up, bit of a sniff. It doesn't look all that worried. And then our mystery one, which is another look around. You get back on the hind leg, which is wild considering how heavy EO Triceratops is. All right, let's go through the animations right quick. Here is our walk. It looks like a slow down run for the most part. And it's actually pretty decent for a walk for a baby. Like it's pretty fast. Here's it from the side, from the front, then our run. Yeah, it's only a little bit faster, it feels like. Or maybe it is much faster. I don't know. It doesn't feel that much faster. Got our side, our front. But the animation for it is really, really good. Let's see if we have a jump. Oh, we do. We have a little baby <laughs> Triceratops jump. That's wild. Let's, all right, let's take a seat. Oh, it lays all the way down. We're taking a seat. The feet look a little weird in the sit animation. I, I don't like it very much, but it might just be the way they're situated there. Sleep. That's a little bit better. The wrist for it still looks a little bit weird, but I don't know if that's how they would sleep. Other than that, though, it's super cute. I like the idle movement that you have going on here. Let's get up. It does take you a minute to get up from sleep, so definitely be aware of that, guys. All right, here's our adult model. The horns are so big, they ca cast this like really long shadow along the face, but it looks great. I love the look of this EO Triceratops quite a bit, mainly because of the... But let's go through the animations right quick. Here's our walk. From the side. From the front, it is very fast. You can tell here. He's walking with purpose. And then our run. Uh, yeah, our run is not that much faster. It looks super heavy and it kind of looks slow in a way. I don't know. The other, our original EO Triceratops might be quicker. All right, let's take a seat. Here we go, laying all the way down. I don't know, the feet look better for the adult model, but still kind of awkward. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Then we're gonna sleep. Rolls them back up. Yeah, again, looks better when they're sleeping, but still a little bit off. Kind of uncomfortable is what it looks like, you know? Let's get up. All the way. Very slow. You will get a lot of attacks trying to get up with this guy. We're gonna do our precise movement right quick. Here is our turn in place. This is pretty slow. Here's our back. That's pretty decent. I think that's about the same speed as regular EO Triceratops. To the left, very nice side shuffle, very smooth animation. To the right. And then our back up and turn. All right, here's our eating animation. Not bad at all. We're just stripping the leaves, really. All right, here's our drinking animation. Ooh, it looks pretty nice. You fit nice and easy. Very simple. They're not really overdoing it. It's a very simple drinking animation. Here's our swim animation looks pretty good the head is bubbling above the water our feet are all moving pretty quickly the speed is actually you know not super fast but you know decent for a ceratopsian all right we're gonna look through these skins right quick remember this is the default male skin next we have classic which is basically the original mod skin their their default skin right here which looks great on this one too honestly then we have monarch eye spot bold capped charcoal jungle volcanic sun deity sunburst skull raspberry albino melanistic methuselah tropical lava plume and blue shield i actually like a lot of these probably not this last one right here but i like a lot of these skins and i definitely love that they paid homage to the original dinosaur for path of titans their default skin with the classic here let's go through the abilities right quick we have i'm guessing an extra sense slot here sharpen horns sharpen your horns on the ground increasing damage by 10 percent output for 120 seconds stacks three times stacks three times so like other people in your group can sharpen horns and increase your damage 
Interesting. Shield wall, raise the morale of your Ceratopsian comrades, increasing their armor by 15% for 60 seconds. Stacks three times. Ability locks you in place while performing. That's pretty much fine. Most things are not going to attack you willy nilly other than, you know, Rexes because they don't like EOs and all that. You got two head slots here. First, we have Raging Bite. Causes medium damage, increases damage by 1% every time you hit an opponent with it stacks up to five times so you could do five percent more damage if you keep biting them we have maximum parry grants maximum damage reduction while using uses stamina when activated so be careful with that headbutt a quick headbutt attack increases self armor by one percent every time you land an attack attacks stack five times so five percent armor you can get as well and then brute horns a slamming headbutt attack that reduces enemy speed by 2.5 percent for 10 seconds and stacks four times Ooh, there's a lot of buffs and debuffs that you can do with the triceratops so this is very good to pay attention to so senses we have bullfighters increases all ally acceleration by 50 percent if they are ceratopsians increase their acceleration by an extra 25 percent as well and you must be grouped so you can have 75 percent increased acceleration which is really good. Pendragon's Glory increases all ally damage by 5%. If they are Ceratopsians, increase their armor by 5% as well. So 5% damage, 5% armor boost. Royal Duty increases all ally abnormal condition heals by 15%. If they are Ceratopsians, increase their stamina recovery by 10% as well. Must regroup. These are all really, really good. We have two front limb slots here. We have Rough Shield front limb gain 10% improved turning speed while crouching that's very good could definitely improve a lot tectonic rage a heavy stomp with front feet dealing high damage and moderate knockback on hit increases turn by 5% up to 5 times lasting 10 seconds can be used while walking and trotting can't be used while crouching Ooh. It feels like it's gonna be OP, but it all depends on how base EO Triceratops works without all of these buffs. Webbed feet increases swim speed and turn speed by 10%. So you wanna go after those Sarkos and Danos? You can. <laughs> Metabolism, opportunistic omnivore, interesting. Able to eat berries, carrion, insects, shellfish, bones, and fruit. Fast food drain and moderate water drain increases food storage. And then Dorophaginus chewer, able to eat nuts, shellfish, insects, and roots. Slow food and water drain. Forager, able to eat fruits, flowers, nuts, and roots. Faster food drain. For our hide, we have defensive testudo. Increases abnormal conditions heal by 20% and ally ceratopsian stamina recovery rate by 10% and heal rate by 15%. It makes me feel like base eotrophaginus triceratops you know this yo triceratops might be kind of weak with all the buffs that they're putting into like each ability but i guess we'll see driving flanix increases armor by 15 percent and ally ceratopsians acceleration by two times whoa ceratopsians are gonna be trouble with this guy legs we have one slot long distance runner reduces stamina drain by 15 percent and strong legs take 40 percent less knockback and 15 percent increased bone break healing then back limb we have disarming back kick a back kick that causes moderate damage and huge knockback if hit lands reduces enemy damage by 10 percent for seven seconds can only be used while crouching mm, that's a little weird but okay demolishing charge charge forward in a line causing damage to anything you hit the further the distance you cover the higher the damage output stacks stay two seconds after charge finishes so use this in your benefit and land a definite blow stacks stay two seconds after charge finishes i'm not exactly sure what that means does that mean all the other buffs like it increases their duration by two seconds i'm not entirely sure tail we have battle driven madness entering defense stance will grant your team a 15 percent damage increase however you take 20 percent more damage able to move while crouched so basically you can make your allies stronger say you're getting kind of low and you're just like you're already getting kind of low but you've got a bunch of smaller faster ceratopsians around you you can increase their damage by 15 percent by staying still but there's a chance that you might die could be the last thing you do dauntless shield entering defense stand will grant your team a 15 percent armor increase however your damage output is reduced by 20 percent until uncrouching able to move while crouched that's a little weird to think of yeah triceratops crouching voice call we have will to fight let's keep fighting purifies teams abnormal statuses and grants immunity for 10 seconds if the team members are ceratopsians restored times for their heal rate for 10 seconds requires to be crouched and in a group to activate doesn't say you can't do it in the middle of a fight so maybe you can still have the combat timer up and use this 
to cleanse your team members and give them more health which is wild all right let's go through our animations right quick first we have raging bites this increases your damage for each bite by one percent up to five times so you can have a five percent increased damage attack damage then we have headbutts Ooh, i like the animation for that it's a lot more violent and this one it will increase your armor by five percent total with everyone that you land on an opponent next we have maximum parry this basically will give you maximum damage reduction and it uses stamina as you can see down below next we have brute horns which reduces your enemy speed by 2.5 percent for 10 seconds and it stacks up to four times it has a pretty low cooldown as well so it must not do as much damage as i'm imagining it does honestly though love the animation next we have tectonic rage which is basically this big stomp here and this will increase your turn radius if you hit somebody by five percent for 10 seconds next we have disarming back kick you have to crouch first to be using it so you do that oh shoot. i was not expecting a donkey back kick i'm sorry guys i was not expecting that i was expecting like a one foot thing but that's really cool but if that hits you it also reduces your damage output by 10 percent next we have demolishing charge pretty nice looks just like our regular eos charge goes pretty far too but that does damage to anything you hit next we have shield wall you have to crouch first and then while you're using it like this this will increase all the armor in your group as long as they're ceratopsians by 15 percent crouching like this will also give your team 15 percent damage increase or 15 percent shield depending on whether you have a dauntless shield or the other one but you can see the icon down here battle driven madness but while you're crouching as well you also take 20 percent more damage so maybe use it for smaller creatures like if your group is being harassed by smaller creatures then empower your smaller stereotopsins to go and fight them instead of you running around chasing them you can worry about the bigger threats our last voice ability is will to fight but i can't show it here because you have to both be crouched and in a group to use it but it will cleanse your team of abnormal statuses make them immune for 10 seconds and then even heal them by four times their heal rate so what's my opinion on this eo triceratops mod i'm actually pleasantly surprised by the number of abilities and the different animations they had even though they took something that already pretty much exists in game they made it different enough that it feels like its own separate creature rather than another than a mod of an already existing creature so far from what i've seen i kind of like it better than the official either triceratops mod you have a lot of buffs you're really a herd creature and you empower other ceratopsians to help you out and they get a large advantage by working with you and being in your herd so instead of you just being kind of like a shield wall for the most part you can basically encourage other ceratopsians to fight and work around with you and that's what makes it really interesting and makes me really excited to kind of play eo triceratops now so uh definitely check this out because he's really exciting but yeah guys thank you so much for watching i'm so excited to play this mod it's really interesting and has its own spin on eo triceratops which we already have in the game but make sure to check out my other videos i have lots of videos that cover other mods that you may not have seen before so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video